Good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day, Smarkling. I'm in Jamaica. Great bananas in Jamaica, by the way. It's a beautiful morning in Jamaica, and we are about Yo, to meet up with Ross Moko and Matt from good Ross morning, Kitchen. Moko. And bless it, bless it. we have a special opportunity today because Moko knows some of the community of the Maroon Town Village, which is not too far away from Port Antonio. And so it's really a mix of African traditions, of indigenous Caribbean traditions, amazing food, amazing cultural blend of traditions. So it's gonna be a learning opportunity today. We are on our way. Sounds short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 14 kilometers all the way there? Yeah. It took us more time. Yep. We are on the road heading towards Port Antonio, and then we're going to cut back into the mountains to Moore Town, which is an area of the Maroons because the roads really wind around. <laughs> On the bay, the water is so pristine, so clean. I'm hoping we'll have some time after Moortown to come down to Port Antonio and maybe eat a little bit of food here too. Getting into the Blue Mountains, it's spectacularly gorgeous. It's, again, the lushness and greenness, the bananas, the coconuts, and then you just see the mountains going into the clouds. Welcome to Moortown. This way. Okay. Rooster crows, this is Moortown. I think Moko is asking him some questions about what to do and where to go. Hello, man. Today, yeah, yeah, awesome man. Yeah. And so we kind of drove around more town. More town is actually very small. Very small. Very it, small. It should be more hamlet, more village. I don't think they can yeah. call it a town. It's not right? a town. It's it's yeah. really a village. A village with all the maroon man. Oh. Pure maroon man. Pure Every maroon. Pure maroon. maroon around here. All of ah. the people is there. Pure maroon. Ah. So they silent. So they make their house. You won't hear nothing of them. Okay. Look at all this beautiful house there, what the rank here, all this black cup there, we make all those high house, you know. Mm. I'm going to head back to the center of Moortown and get a tour of the, and learn about the history. Nice to meet you. All right, and here is Moortown. You're the first Maroon community, right? And we all do tours, right? Mm. So we do tours, whether from the Blue and Junker Mountain, right? Okay. So we are the owner of the two mountains. You can video while I tour the place, all right? Cool. All right, so come on. Thank you. We're going to start off by, we drove up the hill in Moortown a little bit. We're walking towards a waterfall. What is the name of the waterfall? Nanny Falls. Oh, this is Nanny Falls, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ross Kitchen crew. Yeah. All right, see you see these? We use them, we use them to make like the jump dola or to make wires or cars. Oh, so it's really strong? Right? Yes, yeah, so it's really strong, so. Turns to like rope? Yeah, like a rope. Which road though? Especially for like jerk, all of the seasonings are available here in the in this area, right? In the jungle? Yeah. Oh, we're going going up here. Yeah. So he said that those vines high up in the tree there, how maroons 
used nature, how they used their environment from the fruits to the herbs to the spices and everything. Yep. They had and they still Not have such free. a knowledge of Jamaica, its flora and fauna, the things that have been brought from Africa, from South America to Jamaica, making it such a melting pot of ingredients. That's a fern. That's the that's, biggest yeah. fern I've ever seen. That's giant. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's the base. That's the biggest fern I've ever seen. Biggest fern in Jamaica. It's beautiful. <laughs> a wonderful stroll through the jungle hike to the waterfall in Jamaica. And I think we're to the entrance of the waterfall. Yeah, there's a wooden gate. Gotta, gotta slide through here. Okay. Pass through that gate, now down steps. You can hear the water now, you can see the water. Don't put all your trust on that handrail. Okay, and we have made it to the falls two levels because you have one pool with the waterfall at top and then it goes down the rock the next level. Multiple layers, multiple levels. Vines going across. It is a spectacular view, spectacular sight. We're just climbing ourselves round the rock. You gotta take off, well we took off our shoes around the rock. And let me just climb up this, okay I gotta put the camera over here. We made it to the main falls, beautiful pool. The water is so clear, that rushing water. You can feel the mist, beautiful. All right. Thank you very much, you man. Too. Hope to Take see care. You Waterfall was beautiful. We drove back down to Port Antonio, which is back on the coast, and we're gonna walk around. We're gonna go to the market. We're gonna get some food and just explore Port, An Port Antonio in Portland, Jamaica. So, come on, we wanna go into the town. We'll go hang out there after if they want to. So what's your name? What's your name? Mark. Mark. Yes. All right, Mr. Mark. Well, you know my name, Lancey. All thank right, you, Mark. Thank you so much. We're just stopping at the market first. Enter. This is the entrance to the market already. We're seeing some stalls selling calabash. There's some vegetables, fruits and vegetables, some clothing stores. I think this is a market with everything. Yes. So we're just stopping. She has a beautiful selection. You have a beautiful selection of fruits and vegetables and we saw something that's called a star apple, uh, which is a fruit I don't think I've ever tried it before. We're just gonna get a few to try later on. That's beautiful. Thank you. And even the sap, look at that. And then just eat it like that? Yeah. You just don't eat a sour sap on the inside. Yeah, it's star apple. That's why they call it star apple. That is gorgeous. Now we found it, this is the star apple and she cut one open, it's so beautiful. It's like there's milky juice coming out of it. It looks similar to a soursop except purple on the inside or kind of like a cherimoya almost and like milky and very like juicy, fleshy and you just, you don't eat the skin but just that inside. But it's amazing, you think it looks like a passion fruit on the outside almost because it, you think it's hard but it's actually like gushy. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. So milky, juicy. It does taste like cherimoya. I think that's my, that's like the closest thing you can relate it to. It's like sour shot, but not sour. More just like sweet milkiness. Mmm. That is a delicious, that's a delicious fruit indeed. 
after eating the star apple, my lips are like sappy almost, kind of sticky. Yeah, but like this market is great with the fruits, the vegetables, the scotch bonnets, their spices like pimento. Bring it up, bring it up. Uh, is it okay? Mango. You can cut it for us? Mm, that's what I'm saying. Thank call. you very much. We're getting a little bit more fruit here at this beautiful stall. So much colors, and we got a pineapple as well. We're on our way, hopefully next, to go find some lunch. Big lunch. Yes. Are you hungry, Matt? Very hungry. <laughs> Waterfall hike. Waterfall hike. Yes. We were stopping at a restaurant. It's called Country Style Food. Um, and they don't have a menu, but they just have like some real proper home cooking in the back. There's was stewed pork, stewed beef and fried chicken. So I got the stewed beef. Actually, I don't think I've had beef yet in Jamaica, so this will be my first time. I think it's gonna come with a whole plate of everything included. And you can just feel, it's like a home-style cooking, cooking with love, and it smells delicious in here too. Because you're doing enough filming the whole day, right? Okay, here's that pineapple we got. Mmm. Good pineapple. Very ripe, very sweet, and sour and juicy. Wow! We won! Nice plate of food. Mama. I'm gonna add some of the yeah, pepper sauce. Pepper, pepper, yeah. Oh, which one is the hottest? Oh, I think this is the hottest. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of this. Let's go ahead. That looks delicious and stewed beef. You can see the bones in there. It looks like some type of a, it's just like falling apart. I added on a little bit of the scotch bonnet pepper sauce. There it comes with rice, comes with some vegetable salad. It looks hearty, but it looks delicious. Yeah. <laughs> you can just see it like falling apart tender. <laughs> That is like disintegrating beef. It's so tender. That sauce, though, it's like pure beefy sauce. Maybe just a little bit of like a pimento spice to it. There's onions in there with that scotch bonnet sauce. That's delicious. That just like blends with the rice. It becomes one with the rice. The meat's like, like that meat is so tender. It just turns into a gravy in and of itself. It's like a meat gravy coating the rice. Well, it's pretty awesomely tasty. Okay, oh nice, we got a table. You wanna scoot all that sauce over to the rice. Beware the bones sometimes. There's little shards, like pointy, dangerous slices of yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's chopped with a machete. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you, thank you very much. And the restaurant is called Country Style Restaurant at the market. They're awesome, very friendly, good home cooked food. Yeah, that stew, beef stew was delicious. Yes. <laughs> How was the food, guys? That was excellent, awesome. yeah. Much needed, delicious. <laughs> the power of beef flowing. <laughs> 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 Very good. 
Fish your boy. Fish your boy, man. Fish your boy. Macho. What's up? Mark, nice to meet you. Mark. So we came across a man, he has jerk pork. There's like, it looks like pork belly and ribs and sausages and breadfruit, all kind of steaming in this barrel. It's like steaming and grilling and smoking, and he just sliced as a beef. <laughs> wow, oh, that tastes incredible. It's not that heavy on the jerk seasoning. Really smoky, like smoked pork, like, like ham. Mm. Spicy. Yeah, I put it one side. Yeah. Did, did you make the sauce also? To make a sauce, real jerk sauce. Wow. Yeah, you can taste yeah, it. Perfect. Taste it. Try it. Oh, yeah. This is the pepper sauce. Mm. Oh yeah. Thank you, man. Respect. Thank you. And spread of mixed meats. Yeah. Dude. The fat pieces, the pork. Oh, we got that. Oh, that sausage is amazing. Yeah. Some liver, I think. Dude, the breadfruit. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's like jerky style. Maybe not as he heavy on the pimento on the entire jerk seasoning, but very smoky, very slow cooked, tender, flavorful. <laughs> Unreal. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, there are like huge chunks in that sauce. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> chunks of the pimento. Mm -hmm. Yo, bless up, man. You're smoky. You're in port, you're close. That pimento. Yo, let me mm. grab your, your number. Okay. At the time, I had a camera. I'm truly in the video right now. Okay, this is some of the breadfruit now. Yes. What? He told me it was roasted breadfruit, but it was kind of steaming on the grill at the same time. So maybe it was roasted first, then peeled, then on the grill. The breadfruit is great. <laughs> yeah. Especially the lean meat is really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. You did a great job with the jerk in that pan. I want to to go on a slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I want to go on a slice. Yes, I want to go on a slice. Yes, I to go on a slice. Yes, I to walk, try to get a little more to a relaxing place, maybe along the coast, to try to find some fish, but hopefully a relaxing place on the ocean. Hey guys. So we've come down to the coastline and We've come to a seafood, like a fish restaurant on the beach. This place looks very chilled out, very relaxing. Hoping to get some fish here. Still deciding on the menu, but they have fish, they have shrimp. She said they don't have any crayfish today, right? Not no today. crayfish. So we're gonna probably get some shrimp and fish and then just kind of chill out here. Now the weather is perfect, it's so calm, it's so peaceful yeah. here as well. Power stance. Hero shot. Yeah, that's straight superhero. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, brother. Oh man, this <laughs> place is spectacularly beautiful. And it's perfect lighting right now, perfect evening. Such a chill spot. 
This is the one with no onions, no pepper, right? The one with the pami oh, okay. and the pepper. Shrimp. Beautiful castle. Awesome. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Great Jamaican ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> the hot pepper sauce. <laughs> wow, Jamaican yummy. ketchup. Yes, uh... <laughs> so we're sitting down. The food has arrived. This is such a chill, awesome spot. We got a couple of fish. The steamed steamed fish in Jamaica is looks like a curry with the vegetables with the aromas. We got some pepper shrimp, hot pepper, scotch bonnet pepper. We got some plantain, some herb rice. And Moko got a steam. Moko got the steamed fish too. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Total bromance. Total bromantic meal here. Mm -hmm. The sun is going down. The water is so peaceful. Joel with the, the mood light and the the romantic jazz music was just playing from the restaurant next door. <laughs> and we got food to go around. <laughs> Cheers, Moko. Cheers. Cheers, Matt. Nah. Cheers. Steamed fish. Nah, 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 mm. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one has the scotch bonnet. Yep. I got a piece <clears throat> of scotch bonnet in there. The oh, red yeah. snapper. Careful on this one, Moko. Oh, man. That is delicious. Yeah, I'm What's this and one? The, that's Bami in there, too. Oh! Bami. Bami, you know, bami. the fried cassava. Yeah, I think only I do it and I grown. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna try some of that bami too. Yeah, get some bami on there. I'm gonna get some of the veggies on there. Mmm. Spicy bami. Yeah, that's amazing. When you order a steamed fish in Jamaica, mm. it's not like a, a plain steamed fish. It's so much flavor. Yeah, man, all the body friendly, you know. So much vegetables. Yeah, yeah. You can order it with extra scotch bonnet pepper. That is well spicy. Yeah, yeah. And then we also got the... Now even the, the fly never go up on it, the The fly come on it, the fly. <laughs> <laughs> the fly can't land here, it'll no, get burned. The fly can't land here, it'll get burned. We also got the fried snapper with the escovitch sauce, which is like scotch bonnet, carrot, onions, pickled, and like a vinegar that's hot and fresh. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Roast. You can really taste that roast mm -hmm. action. It's completely crispy. Mm -hmm. Deep fried, very fresh, very hot. And I love the Escovitch stuff because it's sour, it's <laughs> acidic. That is delicious. And then the final dish we got is the some pepper shrimp. Let's grab a shrimpy. It looks like you can eat all these, the whole peel and all. Yeah. Yeah, look at all those peppers in there and the, that is beautiful. These are the ones so small you just crush them whole, right? I think so. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers man. Moko, I'll describe the taste for you. <laughs> Good, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That kind of tastes like kind of like you ever, peppers. You ever take this and boil it around down? Oh, and you can eat the whole shell and I'll just crunch through it. Mm. And then you taste like onions, peppers. It almost has like a soy sauce taste to it, too. It does. The shell chews up really easy. It's almost soft and chewy rather than a, the crunchy exactly. ones you sometimes get. It is, it's completely mm. crunchy through. Completely soft. Yeah, good food. Oh, whoa, they're so crispy. They're a little right? too crispy. Okay. Yeah, they kind it's of like a chip. It. I was gonna fork skewer one of these plantains, but it's so crunchy, my fork wouldn't even go through it. It's more like a chip. Oh, it is more like a chip, yeah. Oh, I kind of like it though. It's like a full, thick chip. Delicious, actually. Mm. All the food is good, but tonight I'm feeling the steamed fish. That, that's the dish of the night for me. That mix of vegetables, the fish, that sauce, the scotch bonnets in there. Mm. And then just this just like ultra, ultra chilled out Port Antonio vibes. <laughs> 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 like, cross and frame. 
<laughs> no way, man. No problem at all. Uh, yeah. No problem. Sun is going down. No problem. Worry gone. No problem. Worry's gone. No. no, no. We ended up just hanging out, finishing the meal, and enjoying the evening and enjoying the sunset. That we, again, we didn't really know what we were doing when we started the day, and we just kind of went to Moortown. Uh, we learned about Moortown. There wasn't a whole lot going on there, and not much, not any food at all, but it was great to learn about Moortown, the Maroons, um, and that natural beauty of the Blue Mountains was spectacular. And then Port Antonio, the market, the vibrancy, the energy. Uh, but really, I think my favorite part of the day was the end, just hanging out at the beach, um, eating seafood and just hanging out with Moko and Matt and Joel. And that completes this day. I want to say a big thank you to Ras Moko and Matt. I'll leave their channel in the description box, but they make amazing, uh, their channel is called Ras Kitchen. They make amazing videos about cooking, Ital food, and life and culture in Jamaica. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so you get notified of the next video that I publish. And also make sure you check out this entire Jamaican food and travel series. I'll have the playlist in the description box below. Watch all the Jamaican food. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Port Antonio, Jamaica, and I'll see you on the next video.